and welcome to this week's CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Franco, and today I'm going to be showing you three simple ways you can save time with SOLIDWORKS Simulation. All three of these methods are ways you can save time by reusing commonly used loads and restraints. Here I have a static study set up for a part of a suspension arm. There's a simple 250 Newton load on one end and fixed restraints on the other. When I run the study, we see that we get a large displacement warning and some areas are above the yield strength. To study this further, I'd like to set up a non-linear study with all the same loads and restraints. This brings me to the first way we can save time with SOLIDWORKS Simulation. Number one. In SOLIDWORKS Simulation, you can copy entire studies by simply right-clicking on the Study tab and as of 2016, you can even change the study type. Once I've copied the study and given it a new name, it gets its own tab. Notice everything comes over, including materials, loads, restraints, and connectors. Even the mesh is copied. Right there, I just saved 15 minutes of time to set up the duplicate study. I only have to change the one or two variables that make this study unique. Since this is a nonlinear study, I'm going to change the material to one that includes a stress strain curve for even more accurate results. Number two, since a nonlinear study takes significantly longer to solve, I want to make sure that I have a mesh independent solution before running it. But I already have my nonlinear study set up. In SOLIDWORKS Simulation, you can drag and drop everything from materials to shell assignments to loads and restraints, even meshes and mesh controls. This is also a huge time saver. I'm going to go back to my linear static study and activate the H Adaptive Solution to give me more confidence in my results. Now that I confidently have a mesh independent solution, I can easily drag the mesh from my linear static study to my nonlinear study, saving me hours of mesh refinement. Number three, many times you want to use the same loads on different models. For example, if I want to see what the same loads would do on different geometry. SOLIDWORKS Design Library allows us to save and share commonly used restraints, loads, and even connectors. For this simple example, I will drag my fixed restraint over to the simulation folder I've created in my design library. I give it a name and click Save. Now, I can simply drag this restraint onto any study on any model. I can even pre-select multiple faces and drag the restraint in. I hope you enjoyed these three simple time-saving solutions for SOLIDWORKS Simulation. If you want more shortcuts, please check out Jesse's S is for Simulation blog right here. Thanks for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip video. See you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.